The first live Raw broadcast of 1995 in its second year anniversary was headlined by Razor vs Owen going 13 minutes for the IC title, jumping almost a full rating point over the past two weeks coming on holiday weekends in Christmas and New Year's Eve to draw a 2.8 rating on January 9, on a show also featuring a guest appearance of William Shatner on Lawler's King's Court with the next Monday seeing Bret Hart's first match back since losing the title in November against Jeff Jarrett, followed by the biggest number of the month with the January 30th show which followed up on the major crossover angle shot at the Rumble pay-per-view with Big Low brawling with football player Lawrence Taylor, along with a Kid and Holly vs Smoking Guns in a tag titles match jumping to the highest rated Raw since the show following Randy Savage's WCW debut in early December back into the 3 rating range. Almost exactly two years to the day Hulk Hogan made his Raw debut in a personal interview with McMahon addressing the media in February 1993. February 6, 95 saw a similar shoot-like interview with Diesel with him now the top promoted performer in the company, giving background on the person behind the character including for the first time referring to him as Kevin Nash on television, continuing the build-up to the WrestleMania 11 title match with Diesel vs Michaels two years in the making on a show which also saw Michaels ending his stint on commentary to focus on the match doing a 2.8 rating. With the following Raw after a week out on February 20th seeing a major return as part of the Michaels Diesel feud with Seed making his WWF return for the first time in three years as Sean's new bodyguard to counter Nash, with the show which returned to its regular time slot with no lost momentum drawing a 2.9 rating seeing the top match of the night with Diesel against Jeff Jarrett closing the show. With Raw seeing a massive spike to close the month featuring the follow-up of the Bigelow Taylor angle to set up the crossover WrestleMania headliner with McMahon interviewing Taylor via satellite and his first Raw appearance interrupted by Bigelow to call him out, drawing the highest rated show of the year so far and the highest overall since last July with a 3.4 rating and 2.2 million home. With the WWF product getting massive media exposure coming off the Bigelow vs Taylor match being officially set up at the WrestleMania press conference with perhaps the company's most mainstream publicity since the boom period, Raw trended upwards throughout March 95 averaging a 3.2 rating with around 3 million viewers, featuring in addition to the general Taylor Bigelow and Michaels Diesel build-ups. Two strong main events in the first two weeks first with Michaels vs Bulldog going over 20 minutes to a 3.2, followed by Bret Hart vs Jerry Lawler headlining the March 13th Raw to a joint year-high 3.4 rating, closing the build-up to WrestleMania 11 with another strong number drawing a 3.2 rating on March 27th for a show mostly featuring hype video packages for the top matches on the pay-per-view with Brett vs. Spackland Razor vs. Jarrett and Taker vs. Bundy in addition to the double headliner shown throughout the hour, with the only match on the night seeing Brett vs. Owen closing the Mania Go Home show in a no-holds-barred match in the main event. With the post-mania Raw not seeing any unusual spike during Raw's first two years on the air, April 3, 1995 24 hours after WrestleMania 11 saw the show despite facing strong competition from the NCAA Finals, jumping big to its highest rating in nine months with a 3.5 rating to indicate on strong curiosity for the WrestleMania follow-up, featuring Michaels Diesel and Seed in an interview with McMahon as the big segment of the night. With the following week continuing the momentum for the follow-up of the angle on the show headlined by Brett Kidd and Holly vs Owen Hakushi and Yoko in a six-man tag match drawing a joint all-time record 3.7 rating with over 3.4 million viewers in the most watched Raw to date due to more homes adding cable television in the past year. With April 95 peaking huge two weeks later on April 24 to see Raw almost entering the four rating range drawing a massive 3.9 rating with over 2.5 million homes tuning in to break every record in show history, driven by a big WWF title headline match with Diesel defending the belt against Bam Bam Bigelow with both men working their first televised matches since the double main event at the WrestleMania pay-per-view, 
closing April 95 as the highest rated month of WWF television since the late stages of the boom period. With Monday Night Raw on its hottest streak to date with all-time show records almost shattered by the week, May 29th continued the massive wave of momentum with the biggest audience to watch a WWF TV program since the late stages of the previous boom period, drawing a joint record 3.9 rating with more homes tuning into Raw than ever before totaling over 3.6 million viewers, with the show which was headlined by Undertaker vs Jeff Jarrett in a King of the Ring qualifier in Taker's first TV match of the year also finishing as the most-watched show on cable television for the week and the most-watched wrestling show overall since the record audience for the Hogan vs. Flair Clash special in August 94, with the rest of the month outside the rare televised Taker match also seeing several major returns and debuts, with Seed working his first TV match back in the company against Razor Ramon on May 1, followed by Shawn Michaels wrestling his first match since WrestleMania in a King of the Ring qualifier against King Kong Bundy on May 22, on the same show that Hunter Hearst Helmsley made his Raw debut earlier in the night, averaging around the 3.5 rating range for the month to continue Raw's highest rated run since going on the air. With Raw pulling away as the top wrestling show on television with its recent hot run further establishing it as the flagship brand in the industry, June 1995 saw the announcement that is about to change the game forever, with Eric Bischoff after a meeting with Ted Turner on June 5 officially announcing plans to debut Monday Nitro head-to-head -head with Raw on Monday night starting in the new TV season in September with Bischoff now boosted by a loaded star power roster with the signings of Hogan and Savage with plans to run a higher profile weekly TV product than ever seen before in the business, feeling that he has the tools to outdraw the WWF in primetime with Monday now the highest profile wrestling night of the week due to the success of Raw, with the WWF meanwhile despite struggles in other aspects of business continuing at record levels in June 95 in the second most watched month in Raw's over two year history, again peaking huge with a joint record 3.9 rating on June 12 with just slightly less homes than the record set two weeks back in the second most watched Raw show to date headlined by a hyped Lex Luger vs Yokozuna match in another King of the Ring qualifier. With the past three months seeing Raw peaking with joint records 3.9 ratings each month in the three most watched shows in its history, July 24 got close for a broadcast seeing a rare situation of both Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart wrestling separate matches on the same night, with Michaels vs Jimmy Del Rey placed in the opening quarter and Bret Hart vs Hikushi closing the show leading Raw to its fourth most-watched episode to date with a 3.8 rating with close to 2.5 million homes, with a week earlier in addition to Michaels vs IRS as the featured match of the night, seeing the main event segment of Diesel hyping his upcoming pay-per-view main event against Seed in an interview with McMahon, on a month that saw Raw still trending at record levels to average over 3 million viewers despite taking a hit with a near 95 low 2.7 coming on a holiday weekend on July 3. Diesel worked his first TV match on Raw in three months to headline Raw on August 7 in a match against new King of the Ring Mabel's partner Mo in the build to their Summer Slam title match on a show doing a 3.2 rating that also saw another high-profile match with Razor and Vega going 15 minutes against tag champions Yoko and Owen, with the biggest draw audience of the month coming a week later for a show driven by a big main event built for over a month, with Vince McMahon's last two commentary partners facing each other with Shawn Michaels vs Jerry Lawler headlining to draw a month-high 3.4 rating. With the August 21st Raw and what can be called the final night of Raw's early original run with the next time the show is gonna be back to its regular time slot the game is gonna be completely different with another primetime wrestling show oppose it going head to head, seeing Undertaker vs Statanka and a Diesel and Bulldog vs Mabel and Motag as the top two matches in the go home show for the Summer Slam pay per view doing another 3.2 with August 95 continuing Raw's strong run with the fifth consecutive month to average over 3 million viewers before the biggest challenge in show history starting next month.
with Raw preempted for the second straight week in bad timing to give the debut episode of Monday Nitro on September 4 the full wrestling audience to sample the show. The debut broadcast opening with a 2.9 rating in addition to a loaded card culminating in one of the biggest shocks in wrestling TV history with Lex Luger debuting to confront Hogan, raising the bar for September 11th and one of the most intriguing nights for the industry since the peak of the golden air boom period which saw the first Raw vs Nitro head-to-head -head battle, with WCW going all out in the first week to headline with a WrestleMania caliber main event with the first ever Hogan vs Luger match. Beating Raw 2.5 to 2.2 in an unimaginable scenario just weeks earlier, with Raw which also headlined with a relatively strong Michaels vs. Seed match, taped weeks back with the company unable to counter program on the spot to see Eric Bischoff giving away the result of the Seed Michaels match midway through the hour while mocking Raw being taped, with Raw with a revamped look and new show opening video rebounding from the rating and perception loss of the first week to win the next two peaking on September 25th with a tag titles change of the smocking guns going over Yoko and Owen and a main event of Undertaker vs Davey Boy Smith drawing a 2.7 rating, with September which traditionally was Raw's lowest rated month of the year even before the added Nitro competition due to the USA Network preemptions and the start of football season. Seeing it taking the biggest month-to-month -month hit and show history to date to drop over 700,000 viewers from the over 3 million viewers average of the past five months. With the realization that going against Nitro along with the heavier sports competition in the fall season, the record numbers of earlier in the year are not gonna be reached again for the foreseeable future unless the company unexpectedly catch fire. Raw hovered around the 2.5 rating range throughout October in a slight increase in viewership, seeing the show winning two out of the five weeks with its biggest numbers coming with two 2.6 ratings on October 9th and 23rd averaging over 1.7 million homes, driven by a big star power six-man tag match headlining October 9th with Diesel Michaels and Taker vs Yoko Bulldog and O and that saw Diesel doing a rare pinfall job on television to build to the Nash vs Smith pay-per-view match, followed by a big 20-man battle royal going over almost half the broadcast on October 23rd, with the early signs in another indication of the now increased intensity of the Monday night program seeing the WWF having a rare cage match on television to counter the previous Monday's Nitro cage main event of Flair vs Anderson, with Bret Hart vs Isaac Young come in a cage headlining October 16th to a 2.5 rating victory over Nitro's 2.2. Raw had its biggest show of the month on November 13 featuring two hyped quarters announced since the previous week, first with a face-to-face -face Bret Hart vs Diesel interview segment with Vince McMahon building up to their Survivor Series title match, followed by the top match of the night with Razor Ramon against Seed for the IC title main eventing the show to draw a month-high 2.6 rating and outdraw Nitro by over half a rating point with the following week seeing the new reality of the Monday competition in full effect, as with Raw coming the day after a major pay-per-view which traditionally boost the following night's rating, WCW countering the expected draw boost gave away one of the biggest dream matches in the industry with the first ever Hogan vs Sting match headlining on November 20th, resulting in Raw which despite coming off a big pay-per-view with a major title change of Bret Hart ending Diesel's year-long title run along with a Michaels vs Owen main event which also featured a major work shoot cliffhanger show closing angle of Michaels collapsing in the ring playing off the infamous Syracuse incident, unusually dropping to a 2.3 rating against Nitro's 2.5 driven by the Sting Hogan main event. Shawn Michaels' first appearance back after the collapse weeks earlier saw him doing a sit-down interview on December 11th talking about his status going forward with the idea that his career might be over, on a show headlined by a main event of Bret Hart vs Bob Backlund to draw the biggest draw audience in December with a 2.5 rating and over 1.6 million homes and the closest draw got to Nitro during the month with the final first run Raw show of the year drawing a 2.3 rating on December 18th headlined with Razor vs Yoko with the direction for the top matches at WrestleMania 12 starting to build heading into 1996.